What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. As always, it's your boy Ben, co-host of Price Plow, and today we're going to be talking about not just another product review. Today we're going to be talking about actually a specific ingredient, uh, what you may not have talked about before or learned about, Chromax from Nutrition 21. Welcome to Price Plow. Now, Chromex is a trademarked version of chromium picolinate, which sometimes is seen in a few different products, whether it's a dieting product or a glucose disposal agent. Uh, Chromax is the trademark version coming from Nutrition 21. You guys know that Nutrition 21 is a favorite company of mine, makers of things like Nitrazogene, uh, New Level, uh, Velocitol and Chromax in this case. So uh, I'm a fan of Nutrition 21. I'm a fan of the products that they offer uh, in a wide variety of different goals, whether it's uh, sports nutrition, f uh, full body health, optimization, focus, gaming, uh, and they, they've really focused on a lot of human data, which is very important to us here at Price Plow. Chromax is kind of going to be a fun topic because we talk about glucose disposal agents pretty often, but we don't get to talk about Chromax very often. Chromax, I do know, is going to be coming out in some pretty exciting GDAs coming out soon. Um, but as a whole, it's not really spoken about much in the sports nutrition industry, and I plan to help change that. A few different topics that we're going to talk about are how it works, what it does in the body, the benefits that you might uh, receive by taking it, and Lastly, one that I think might, people might find interesting, the last one that I will touch on is going to be how Chromax differs from regular chromium picolinate and how that has to do with Prop 65, that label warning that you see pretty often on bottles. I get a lot of questions from people, what does this mean, why is it saying it's going to harm me reproductively or give me cancer, uh, but just in the state of California, how can I prevent myself from getting these? So without further ado, let's jump in and talk about Chromax and what it actually does within the body. So chromium picolinate is a, um, it's a mineral, and I'm not going to talk a little bit about the different types of chromium picolinate. For this one, we are specifically going to be talking about trivalent chromium. This is going to be the safest version and the most beneficial version, so I'm not going to really talk too much about hexavalent chromium. Uh, in fact, that's actually going to be the only mention of it at all. Uh, I just want to make sure that everyone knows that's the one I'm talking about. That's what's used in Chromax. Uh, that we're going to be talking about today. Now, upon absorption, chromium is brought into the body and it's actually met with chromodolin. Chromodolin is an oligopeptide that is actually produced in the liver. Uh, and in fact, it is so specific to absorbing and, and uh, attaching to chromium picolinate. There seems to be no other minerals actually available to stimulate this kind of activity through uh, chromodolin actually out there. Now, what does chrom chromodolin do within the body? Well, I'm glad you asked. We can talk a little bit about uh, chromodolin is actually a uh, oligopeptide that's released in the liver and it has an incredible stimulatory response on insulin and the insulin secretion. When this receptor is actually stimulated, it causes cells to <laughs> Point being, it regulates blood sugar, uh, secre it increases the secretion of insulin and pulls blood sugar from the blood. So it's a few different benefits here. We've got health benefits, fat loss benefits, and uh, muscle growth benefits or sports nutrition performance benefits here. So let's talk a little bit about these issues. Diabetes or really insulin resistance is kind of akin to, we also call it energy toxicity. This basically means that you are feeding your body more energy than it needs and it's holding that in unhealthy ways. It could also be referred to as sugar saturation where your cells are no longer willing to receive more energy input. This toxic environment can lead to a lot of other things like hypertension, uh, heart disease, kidney failure disease, uh, sleep apnea, PCOS, cancer, cardiovascular disease, it, it, it just goes on and on and on and you know it's, it's obviously not good for you. Now how can chromium colony or Chromax help you with that? It's gonna pull blood sugar from the blood and put it into cells where it's to be a little bit used more efficiently. As an athlete, this is gonna be helpful if you're training, you're gonna overload your glycogen stores so you have more energy for training. Post-workout, you could use this to help make sure that you are reloading your glycogen stores. But overall, we are simulating insulin secretion by over eight times the baseline of what it normally would be, which is going to help with all of these things. As you lower fasting blood sugar, you are reducing the risk of all these other diseases that we're talking about here with energy toxicity. Now, chromium alongside chromodolin also stimulates AMPK, which is really helpful for fat loss, but also putting the body into an anabolic state. So this is gonna be really helpful for you bodybuilders or people who are trying to maintain a healthy body weight is really what it does for most people. As always, I have to remind you here that this is just a supplement. It's just gonna be helping your body get into a better state. The input of energy that you're still putting into your body is still going to matter. You can't take this product and take a ton of calories or sugar in. You still need to be in a caloric deficit to lose weight. No matter what, the law of thermodynamics always applies. Well, let's talk about a little bit specifically. This product was uh, actually studied in both diabetics and non-diabetics, and we found similar 
uh, lowering of blood sugar in both, fasting blood sugar, that is. But most interestingly, this is something that we can tell you, but maybe a company that's selling the product might not be able to because of FDA guidelines. We found the most significant reduction in fasting blood sugar in diabetic patients, honestly, which I find very interesting. In non-diabetic patients, we saw other benefits, such as uh, fat loss um, and maybe tissue growth, but not as much of a significant decrease in fasting blood sugar. Some researchers might say that because there is a back and forth between different studies. Uh, one study, which I'm, I'm going to refer to my notes for this one, uh, in 2002 researchers found that 425 non-diabetics actually had no effect on glucose or insulin levels. Uh, but in comparing some other groups after a 16 week study, uh, it did facilitate acute insulin response, but it failed to actually initiate lasting changes for non-diabetics. So one of the things that we have to remember here is that while you're taking this product, if you're a non-diabetic, it's going to improve your insulin secretion and response really well. But when you get off of it, you'll probably return back to baseline as you're a healthy human being and these diabetics may need extra help you may be kind of at a handicap since you already have a healthy insulin secretion. But let's talk, stop talking about diabetes. That's not really the topic of this channel. We're talking a lot about sports nutrition here and healthy dieting. One of the big things about chromium picolinate is it also really helped with cravings. In 2008, there was a study on individuals taking 1,000 micrograms of Chromax and there was a very significant difference in cravings and hunger, which also actually correlated to a decrease in body weight, which Interestingly enough, the decrease in body weight had nothing to do with, there was there was no instructed lifestyle change. So there was no instructed uh, training, there was no instructed cardio, there was no instructed dietary restrictions. So what does this say? It might just say that one of the pro biggest problems with dieting is actually adherence to the, to, to the actual diet. Chromium picolinate actually helps control hungers and cravings, so you're able to stay on your diet a little bit better. These studies actually didn't have a specific training, cardio, or uh, dieting regimen, but I know myself, I snack a lot when I'm hungry. If I need food, I'm putting it in, and so if I can keep those hunger uh, and cravings at bay, I'm gonna stay to my, my diet a lot more efficiently, and I'm gonna have a lot better results. Now, in a separate study in 1996, it is important to note that there actually were two different dosages, 200 micrograms and 400 micrograms. Remember previously, I was talking about 1,000 micrograms, and even at 200 and 400 micrograms, the uh, subjects actually saw significant body composition changes. So there's a wide variety of dosages that can be utilized here, and you'll see that in different products depending on the focus of what the product is for. A little bit later, I'm gonna talk about the difference in dosages and what those differences can actually yield, what Nutrition 21 will allow you to actually use as claims for those different dosages. Before I jump into that, I wanna talk about a couple different health benefits that are not related to sports nutrition. One is heart, uh, heart health. The other is neurological health. So one thing that's important to note is that actually uh, not just the supplementation of Chromax can lower risk of heart disease, but those who are lower in chromium naturally without that supplementation are at higher risk for heart disease. So when you add in Chromax, and actually some people even saw some studies uh, a synergy with grapeseed extract, you see a significant lowering of cholesterol and lowering the risk of heart disease in this case. Moving on to neurological health, Chromax actually helps increase the production of serotonin within the body, uh, which can help in a lot of different areas. It's theorized that's actually where the hunger suppression and the cravings keeping at bay comes from, is the serotonin production and balance within the body. But we can also see uh, reasons to believe that this would also help with uh, sleep patterns, mood, heart rate, and mechanical movement like maybe increasing reaction time or stuff like that. Now, like I said, Nutrition 21 offers their guidance to brands on how much they can use for different claims. Uh, and I'm gonna put this over the screen here, make it pretty, probably pretty big for you to see. Um, at 1,000 micrograms, you see things like body composition, re reduction in body fat, carbohydrate and glucose metabolism, cardiovascular health, cravings re reduction, improved mood, and promotes cognitive function. So there we're gonna see the most benefits. Uh, as you go down to 600 micrograms, you'll see body composition still, carbohydrate and glucose metabolism, heart health, craving reduction, and improved mood. And down to the 200 to 400 microgram range, you'll see body composition, carbohydrate metabolism, and cardiovascular health. So you'll see those different dosages in different products, and you'll notice the claims on the product will actually change depending on those dosages. Now lastly, there are a few different types of uh, chromium. There also is chromium nic uh, nic nicotinate and chromium chloride. I always mess up the nicotinate. Uh, pronunciation. But what I really want to talk about is the difference between Chromax chromium picolinate versus your generic chromium picolinate. Uh, in today's day and age with Prop 65 in California, it's really difficult to formulate products and have them not have a massive label on it that will say that it may or may not cause cancer, may or may not cause reproductive system 
uh, damage. That really doesn't look good for a consumer. I know myself that when I see that on a bottle, I know what it means. I've gone through the process of testing and adding that label um, revision on. However, I still am a little bit scared, obviously. Like, right, you see, anytime you see a, a warning like that, you're gonna be a little afraid of it. Conspiracy theories aside, uh, hating the government aside, hating government regulation aside, there is some truth to some of these minerals and uh, products that are coming straight from the earth containing heavy metals. And we have to be cognizant of that when we're taking a product, even if you're only taking 200 micrograms of it, if you're taking that on a regular basis every single day, you're depositing those heavy metals in yourself and that can be unhealthy. I'm not a super hippie about this stuff, but I do have to recognize the health complications that could come from this. One of the benefits of Chromax is that it is completely compliant with Prop 65. You do not have to put the, the warning on your label if it if you put that ingredient in the product. Uh, and you don't have to worry about what the consumers may say if they see that on there. Um, whether it's a stigma issue or it is an actual issue that you think that you need to stay away from, uh, chromium picolinate as a whole can be extremely high in heavy metals from other companies. And if you stick to Chromax from uh, Nutrition 21, you're gonna be safe from that. So for me, that's enough of a selling point. I am very extremely uh, dedicated to my sport and to my training and stuff, but if that's going to sacrifice my health long term, I have to consider that. I have made some decisions that may not have been the best for my health in pursuit of strength and my sport. However, something that might cause reproductive failure or uh, cancer later in life, I'm probably not going to choose to risk. So, Chromax is perfect, personally what I prefer um, for my GDA mineral product so I know this is a little bit different um, you probably have clicked on this off of this by now however Chromax I think has a really important place in the industry um, we've partnered up with nutrition one nutrition 21 so I have taken most of these ingredients for free I have gotten samples of these for free so please do understand that these these pieces of contents uh, are sometimes sponsored however it doesn't really change what uh, take anything away from the fact that the data is there the science is presented if you want to look at a really really in-depth article uh, where things weren't uh, sped up or cut out Heather did a really great breakdown on Chromax on our blog which I would recommend you read if you're interested in actually getting into the science I try to cut these up a little bit quicker and get them a little bit easier to digest for the normal mainstream consumer to understand where these ingredients are coming from. So I hope the education was helpful. I hope it was thorough enough, but also quick enough that you could digest it and not lose too much of your day. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you have any questions about Nutrition 21, you can go to uh, pricebelow.com slash nutrition21. For all your questions about the ingredients, just leave them below. I'd love to talk about it with you. Thanks guys so much for watching and have a great day. Welcome to Price Plow.